Margaret traveled last week. Guess what <laughs> she did at the airport? I left my favorite pair of sunglasses, so I left them on Monday, came back on Friday, and I said, gee, do you think they'd have them? They sent me to an office. They had them. Lucky you. I was so excited. <laughs> I went, congratulations, you guys. You do a good job. All right, the weather. I think it's going to look pretty decent tomorrow. Let me show you what's happening. We've got a little bit of cloudiness out there. Some areas absolutely clear. We've had a few sprinkles over by St. Mary Parish, but otherwise, not much going on right now. One area of disturbed weather has moved off to the east. And if you look carefully, we've got another one over here in Texas that's going to move eastward and will give us a slight chance of rain for tomorrow. What we're really watching is this upper level load that's off the Pacific Northwest. It's going to move eastward, and when it does, it's going to encounter warm, moist air from the Gulf, and there is a slight risk for severe storms, particularly as you go into your Thursday, but we look pretty good. So here is a look at our forecast model, and it shows a southerly flow. That means it's going to be warm, it's going to be humid as we heat up, slight chance of rain. High temperatures in the mid 80s, southeast wind at about 10 to 15. Then, as we go into your Wednesday, some patchy fog in the morning, an isolated shower, high temperatures in the mid 80s, southeast wind at about 10 to 15. So, basically, a ditto forecast. Then you go into Thursday. The weather changes a little bit. Here comes that cold front. It stays to our north, but we will have a slightly better chance of rain, about a 20 to 30 percent chance of rain. Rain chances are going to be higher, though, as you go into your Friday. Here's the cold front. The problem is that cold front's going to hang out. It's going to stall, which means even as you go into your Saturday, you're going to have a decent shot at some rain. Then as we go into your Sunday, it doesn't look quite as bad. But there's still that chance of rain. So over the weekend, be aware of that. Just keep the umbrella handy. Hopefully we'll get lucky. But we've got the French Quarter Festival. We don't want the rain, right? So here is a look at the Mississippi River. It's now at 14.31 feet. And this is an issue when it gets this high, especially right there at Algiers Point. You can get some eddies in the river, and that can cause problems for navigation. The Mississippi River in Baton Rouge is at 36 feet, and that is difficult for navigation. And in fact, we did have an accident today. Don't know if it was due to the high river, but it could have been. So that's something we're watching. We're expecting a slow fall. When I say at 14.3 feet, that's 14.3 feet above sea level, just so that you understand. Baton Rouge is higher, so the river is higher. This is my favorite twit pick of the day. Do you see it? It's a happy face. I had to show it twice. That's from Mike. And then in Covington, Margaret said, you know, it was a pretty nice day. There was some rain mainly to the west. Thibodeau, Debbie said, a gorgeous sunset tonight in Bay St. Louis. Look how pretty that is. Norman sent in that twit pick. The high today, 84. The average, 76. The record, 89. All across the area, basically low to the mid 80s. It was the North Shore that had the rain. Right now, we're basically in the low 70s. The wind is still kind of blowing, beginning to die down. Visibility still good, but the potential that you could have a little bit of patchy fog in the morning, especially Mississippi Gulf Coast and the North Shore. Morning lows, upper 60s to near 70, not cooling off much. The average low was 58. High temperature tomorrow in the mid 80s. And along the coast, the wind southeast at 10 to 15. Tidal range is pretty good at a foot. So, three in the afternoon, 84 degrees, slight rain chance. Ditto for your Wednesday, Thursday, slightly better chance of rain. Friday, right now, we've got our higher rain chance. The front lingers over the weekend, so the potential for some off and on rain. I'll keep you posted on that.